Good morning. Good morning. Are you able to hear us? Yeah, yeah. Good morning. How are you, Dr. Makle? How are you, uh, Kamerkar? Who is that, Girish? Yeah. Good, good. The big boss, Kamerkar, is here. Is that Girish? Yeah, yeah. Hi, hi. Okay, hi, hi. Okay, we are ready to go here. Sure. Okay, can we show the case history, please? Yeah, so we'll start with the case. This is a 69-year-old uh, gentleman uh, with uh, long-standing diabetes on oral medications. Uh, also a known case of hypertension. He had a coronary artery bypass twice, one in 92 and then 2012 recently. And he came with a left leg claudication since two months, but uh, rest pain for the last one month. His claudication distance was about 100 meters and a blackish discoloration uh, since month. You can show you the foot picture here. The second toe uh, tip is uh, gangrenous, dry gangrene. And uh, he's lost his uh, sleep uh, because yeah, of uh, yeah. severe rest pain. Clinically, bilaterally, femoral and popliteals were palpable. But no pedal pulses. And of course, uh, the dry gangrene uh, of the second tip on the left foot. His ankle brachial index was 0.5 on the left, 0.6 on the right. And the Doppler had shown a TP trunk patent and severely diseased and occluded anterior and posterior tibial artery. Uh, we can show you the CT angiography which was done, uh, which showed a narrowed uh, TP trunk and uh, occluded uh, ATA, PTA and heavily calcified vessels. <laughs> Soft images. Uh, that, that's the CT images. Uh, uh, let's focus down onto the below the knee. Yeah, that's right. So we are we are looking at the left leg. Okay. And yeah. you can see the peroneal being filled, but uh, heavily calcified ATA, PTA. And the refilling of dorsal is just in the foot and posterior tibial. Uh, there is a heavy calcification in TP trunk as well. So, with this, uh, we have proceeded uh, with. Okay, let's go live. Uh, show the first run. So, we did an anti grade uh, puncture, 5 French sheets, and did a diagnostic DSA. And you can see uh, uh, stenosis almost about 60-70% in distal uh, TP trunk. You can see the origin of anti-TBL artery but no vessel beyond. And uh, you don't see any origin of posterior TBL artery. Can we have next one please? So peroneal is filling all the way down, but you still do not see anterior and posterior tibial artery. There are lots of collaterals. Next one, please. As we come down towards the foot, the peroneal is filling through the collateral branches into dorsal spedis and posterior tibial artery. Caliber of the posterior tibial artery is quite small going into the foot. Even ATA is also filling through the collateral, sir. The dorsal spit is the posterior tibial. That's right. So, this is a picture. Anybody in the audience can suggest any plans? Let's ask uh, Deepak. Okay, for your information, I we'll keep on playing the previous runs once again, go to the run number two, that is the DSA. So, this, obviously this go patient has been put on antiplatelets before you've taken them up. That's yeah, right. he's already for, um, Almost for uh, three months. Okay. And he was on Ecosprin uh, for his CABG. We added the clopidogrel as well. So, what, what, what do you plan to do now? And Silvestazol too. No, no, we are asking what is your opinion. Our plan is fixed. 
Our plan is, is fixed. <laughs> Me and Dhanesh, we, our plan we, is fixed. We <laughs> want to know what is your opinion. <laughs> we want to have the pearls of wisdom from you. I, I think, see, uh, if you look at it, the second and third toe is a problem. So I would think you target Correct. the anterior tibial artery would be the main artery to target. Obviously, the Correct. of course, you will also target the tibioperoneal trunk so that there is better inflow of blood into the peroneal artery. So I would target Correct. first the anterior tibial and then the tibioperoneal trunk. I would maybe if I have time Correct. and the oh. energy think about the posterior tibial at a later date uh, because oh, you are not seeing the origin of the posterior tibial you might need to go retrograde so That's I think right. it would be simpler to do the That's anterior right. tibial and then the peroneal, uh, tibial peroneal trunk. Okay. Yeah, we quite agree so with you. So we are unison. Yeah. Uh, we so tried. Okay. Just so can we tried you to open uh, the Can you just show the artery. proximal uh, shoot Next. again? Okay. The bifurcation? Yeah. Okay, we'll do. Go, go, yeah. go back. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Stop. St stop, sir. Okay. There, there, there it's for you. Now here, you know, uh, in, order zoom order to, and you know in order to open the anterior tibial artery, if you see, there are lots of collaterals uh, just at uh, occlusion. Yeah. And point of entry is very difficult. Yes. And to get because into the native ATA. Correct. It's going to be a problem because it's going to slip constantly into the, into the collateral. Absolutely, Abs absolutely. That's what happened. So anyway, so we'll show so you we'll next. show you the runs. Next, right, next uh, one. That's what exactly happened. The wire was going uh, all the time into collaterals. Next, uh, next. Eighty. Ata ata wire chida ko. Next. Anyone would get the uh, transfetal axis, yeah. but that, that you you will have to keep that option in mind. Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, now here we are with. Uh, okay. Uh, so so this is uh, with Rubicon. We tried with V18 wire, followed by uh, approach uh, CTO six gram load. But uh, we were unable to uh, cross that uh, occlusion. See, one so, of the reasons is because of the acute angulation and presence of those two side branches. So guide wire all the time used to slip into the side branches or collaterals. So it was not worth doing it. Next run. So any so any other way, Girish, one would look at it to enter ATA? Yeah, we have uh, Dr. Uh, see, here you Kapoor. can see the wire we are approaching. Yeah, good, good so morning, yeah, gentlemen. Uh, can you hear me? Morning. Yeah, morning. Deepak Kapoor, I'm a yes, cardiologist. Yes, clearly. So, uh, if you have already tried yeah. a V18 wire and unsuccessful, how about yeah. thinking in the other dimension, like use a coronary gear? The problem you have is proximal cap is ambiguous. You have collaterals. So, I think two options you have is take mm -hmm. a stiff coronary wire, which will stay in the course. Like below knee, arteries are coronary size. Or take a retrograde approach. Yes. So what yeah, problem yeah, you have? That's the reason we so use that. Uh, approach CTO we used. We used the approach CTO for the same CTO reason. Wire. So a good but wire here will be. You can see here. A, and a, uh, retrograde puncture is difficult. Go back a couple of runs. I'll show you. Next, go back, go back, go back, go back. I want to show the ankle. Go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back. Yeah, yes. stay here. Now here, yes. puncturing a dorsalis pedis is, is difficult. Yes, I agree with yeah. you. It's difficult but doable. Dorsalis pedis is right in the foot. Yes, but our concern is since it is failed uh, through the peroneal collaterals, if that gets jeopardized doing that, you know, foot could land up in acute ischemia. Yeah. Sure, certainly I understand. So how about go back to the so proximal that, cap? That is a concern. And take a directional catheter. Okay. So, so any other Next. way, any any 
any other way one can uh, think of entering ATA? The on, only anti-grade then. Go next. Yeah, because there is no other option. Yeah, next, so, next. so any other options? You want next. to wire a collateral and go retrograde? That's what we tried uh, from the peroneal retrograde. You can see uh, the Rubicon again with uh, V18. But again, after traversing for about 3-4 centimeters retrogradely. What happens then? Uh, we are again unable to... No, it's no, just it not doesn't, going doesn't through. Go so, for back up your wire with the micro catheter. If you that have it one. is, yeah. It is yeah. backed up. Uh, it is. Which wire you are using? So Change one. to a Pilot 200. Can, can I ask you one question? Yeah. What access have you taken? Contralateral or ipsilateral antigrade? Antigrade femoral. Antigrade femoral. femoral. Ipsilateral. Ipsilateral. Okay. okay. That's right. Antigrade femoral, yeah. So, okay. you know, Rubicon has entered into the, the, the collateral. Okay. But, but wire is not advancing further retrogradely. Next. So now we are back to the square one now. Now back to anti-grade. Yeah, back to anti-grade yeah. and so, see... So we decided uh, since the anterior and posterior tibular occluded and only uh, uh, feeding vessel to the foot is uh, peroneal and uh, with a narrowing of tippy trunk, we will open the tippy trunk uh, with a balloon and may put a bioabsorbable scaffold since it's a single vessel kind of runoff going into the foot. So that's the plan. Okay. Anybody has any suggestions? No, I, I think that looks a good approach. I mean, I don't think we have too many options. Okay. Uh, that I'll, I'll put it, that's the only approach what we are left with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the, 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 the other reason for not doing a pedal puncture at this pa, stage, pa, Girish... Pa, yeah. Hello. After, hmm? hello. After, after doing a stenting uh, yeah, of the TP trunk... Pa, hello ah. if, 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 it, if it doesn't help, is relieve his symptoms. I always have an option of doing a distal bypass on the dorsal spedis. Exactly, exactly. So I want to keep that option open. I think that's a very sane way of looking at it. Thank you so much. So Giri, that's the advantage of yeah. surgeon and interventionist <laughs> working together, you know. I, I forgot to introduce both of you. <laughs> Always this is better Dr. have a surgeon with you. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Makle is a prominent uh, interventional cardiologist in Pune. Uh, got tremendous uh, skills and uh, Dr. Kamerkar is the king of vascular surgery in Pune. Hello. So, sorry, sorry for not introducing you. I am I'm no, waiting no. for a queen of vascular surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, they are going to put so a, uh, yes, uh, the first. So we are doing a bio. Balo we are doing a balloon, di balloon dilatation, pre dilatation. With drug uh, okay. Drug DSA. Okay, let's do DSA. Okay, DSA. DSA one. So it's with you. Okay. Smart mask. So uh, we are going to do pre dilatation uh, here. What would be the balloon size you're planning? It's uh, 2.75 by 18. 18. 18, right? Yeah. By 18? No, no, 15, sorry. 15, 15. Non compliant, sapphire. Okay, fine, that's good. So, are you able to see the balloon there on the screen okay? Yes. Uh, Bansari yeah, yeah. ji, power mein hai. Yeah. See, he's uh, moving his legs. Bansari, power mein hai. So, you could see the waist there? No, we couldn't. He moved the leg. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Show, show, show fluoro, saved. Uh, 
No, actually it is on the other screen. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so anyway, I have gone up to this bigger 2.75 and uh, compliant, non compliant balloon. I am taking the liberty to go at a high pressure. Come back. Uh, yeah, you can see on other screen. I can see the You can see on this screen. Okay. All right? Yeah. Let's do another DSA. Uh, you want me to do another DSA? Yeah. Okay. We do it another DSA? Bansali ji, pair mat hilai, ya? No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. 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 Put it in Done? Floor on. Okay. All right. Are you able to see image clearly now? Yeah, yeah, much better. Yeah, okay. because you know, it is a, in the DSA, the smart mask, if the patient moves a little bit here or there, yeah. we lose, see, again, same thing has happened. He has moved his... No. One more? No, no, no. Out? Her. Okay. So now we are dilated with a 2.75 up to 16 bar pressure. You know, that's always usually between me and Kamerkar arguments, high pressure versus low pressure. But we translate here our coronary experiences because non-compliant balloon really doesn't change the diameter. As long as it's only arguments and no fights, it's okay. Oh, we'll know who will win. <laughs> <laughs> Girish, you know how, how are our innings, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, more, one question from us. Yeah, sure. So now since we are, think, since we are thinking of using uh, bioabsorbable scaffold uh, meril, Stent. Uh, would one like to uh, stain the entire TP trunk or only the disease segment uh, normal to normal? I think disease segment normal to normal should be the right way to go. Any particular reason? The shorter the better. Uh, there is no data yeah. to yeah. show. Again, I want to, again, I, again that longer is better. Again, again, after absorption of the stain in future, I want a good patent artery uh, as low as possible uh, for inflow graft in case required. But that, that is all right. You, you take it from the popliteal, if not from the tibioperinary trunk. You will have space there. That's right, yeah. It, it still can be done. And anyway, we are taking a 340. Okay. Although 37 is available, the computer no, is reading 37. 37. No, 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 don't take Dhanesh. Cut to cut hole, trust me. We can start from this point and we have to go down a little bit because we need anchoring. 340. 340. So we have decided to uh, stain uh, 3 by uh, 40. 40. Kamirka, do you know one thing? That this would be the first hmm. credence uh, stain to be deployed. Is that right? Inshallah. Didn't know that. Yeah. Inshallah. Okay. Now, a uh, couple of things which uh, we would like to highlight. Yeah. This is the hey, lights on. Kare. Uh, can you see the stand clearly? It comes in the box, which is completely it is pre-mounted over the balloon. Now, there is a protecting sleeve. First, you have to remove, there are double layer of the sleeves. First, you have to remove this blue color sleeve. Slides. It, it slides, but it gets hit at this particular point. And then, there is like a petals along with the stellate inside, and then you have to remove. Being a bioabsorbable scaffold coated with the drug, it is, you should not touch it. You should not flush it. So, 
This is how it is mounted. This is monorail system. You can see the point of entry and you can see the point of exit. Yes. Bansali ji, darad hai pair mein? So he's, he's still got in pain in the toe. So let's see once we open if the pain goes away. Will it take another shoot? Yeah, but has it yes, reached? Please. Has it reached there? Yes. Abhi pair mat hilana, Bansali ji. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Bansali ji, bilkul pair nahi hilane ka. Paanch minute, ha? So this is the image which is a post dilated. Nah, hilane ka nahi, bhai. बिल्कुल नहीं लाने का आप थोड़ा भी नहीं लाने का यू कैन सी दोज मार्कर्स ऑफ द बलून गो डाउन एंड मार्कर्स ऑफ दी ग्राफ्ट और सॉरी नॉट ग्राफ्ट मार्कर्स ऑफ दी स्कैफोल यू कैन सी आई थिंक द फोर्टी वाज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट ओके यू कैन स्टिल गो डाउन अ मिलीमीटर या so okay. do you agree the positioning of the stent? Yeah, I yes. think so. Okay. Okay. Now yeah. holding. Yeah. It is absolutely good. We shows 40 millimeter. Although the computer G was so. saying 37. Now deploying this stent. It has to be slow. Uh, it has inflation. to be slow. Up to oh. four pressure, four atmospheric pressure. So we hold it here up to four atmospheres and then we leave it for a couple of seconds. Can you see it here? Yes. Yeah, we can see. Yeah. Now slowly, slowly at the same time we are uh, looking at the patient also where there is complaining of any pain. उठने के नीचे दर्द नहीं है ना? नहीं सर। ओके। This stent being a poly PLLA, correct? PLLA। Yeah। So it polylactic acid is a polymer. So it is not like a metallic stent. So you have to give a slow, steady pressure. What is the normal pressure for this stent? So then, yeah, the the normal pressure here is nine. Nine. Uh, can you hear, can you see that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. nominal is nine yeah. and rated burst pressure is sixteen. I am right now on a twelve. Basically, I am looking for the stent for the full expansion. We are going to post dilation. Yeah, we are going to do the post dilation. But see, there is still a gap between the and so you know, images there. You can see uh, there between the vessel wall. So I was going to ask you, do you, yes. think, do you think that uh, preparing the lesion in the periphery is as important as it is for coronaries for BRS implantation? Or we it don't is. know yet? Abs <laughs> absolutely. 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 Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. See, one of the problems with these polymer stents, you can't expect them to expand at their own, like metallic stent where you can give a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. So you have to make the bed completely ready. And then only, the preferably it should be one to one or at least quarter size less than the di intended diameter. So Dr. Makana, the next the question next is... The next uh, part is also equally true. Yeah. Would you have chosen yes. etherectomy then prior to BRS implantation? Uh, 
atherectomy here. This what, is this is the, the atherectomy, like rotablator or atherectomy. No, it is more of uh, fibrotic lesion uh, preparation with the. Now, if you want to do the rotablator here, the maximum birth size I can use here. I think there will be 1.75. If we have got a rotablator ready here, actually. If but it is not all that calcific. If if one way to use a rotablator. Then uh, it should be followed by drug coated balloon. Okay, and now I am making it negative. Next balloon. Yeah. A strain boost, guys. Okay, thumb there. One second. Thumb there. One minute. It is thumb. Strain boost. Huh? So once the dip, it yeah. is deflated, keep the balloon there. We'll do the strain boost. Go, go on coronary pro program and let's do the stand boost. How does yeah. it look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we'll go on a coronary program and see, do the stand boost. Three R O. Yeah. See, you can see those radio opaque markers. No, and it, no? Uh, no, no, I'll show them on the, the stand boost. boost. That will be, uh, I think that that will be, be much better. Okay. Yeah, you know, we are, because we are sort of, you know, yeah, okay, looking for it. Stenbus input dil laga thana. Monitor firo. Or camera uske upar lega ja. No, because... Okay, uh, monitor Firo. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. You can see those three uh, markers, lower end. Varcha, right one. On a stand boost. No, no, I think because of the reflection from the light, maybe. Anyway, we are able to see it clearly. Okay. Go back. Go back to DSM mode. So, I mean, we can see the markers so at the bottom. Yeah. 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 yeah see, the, right. because you know, stain boost at times for the long stains, it may be difficult. DSM. Next balloon, 3.25. <coughs> NC. As we have only a few more minutes, uh, would you do an uh, angiogram? 15. Yeah. 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 We are yes. almost done. Now we are going to Contrast. do Contrast. post dilatation. One DSA, and after that we'll do it with a non-compliant balloon. That's good. What size uh, non-compliant? Yeah. So we'll balloon? dilate with uh, 3.25. 3.25. 3 yeah, we are using a biotronic non-compliant balloon, the coronary, because long lengths are not available in peripheral. Okay, uh, uh, uh we'll just come back to you. We'll just see Vimal's yeah. case and come back in a, a few minutes. Is that okay? Okay, okay sure. sure. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. absolutely. Danish, we are back. Oh. Danish, we are back. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll show you the go back. runs. Go back. Go back. Go so, back. we dilated go with uh, 3.25 NC balloon. See, here we left you. That was, uh, go, uh, next, next, next. This was a stent. You can see those three uh, marker points at the lower end of the stent. Yeah. Right. Yeah, for yeah. some reason, I don't see the proximal markers. I don't know. But uh, it is, the, you can see the balloon markers very yeah, well. Yeah. Next. This was a stent boost image. And uh, this, uh, in afterwards, we did a check shoot. When we left you. That's when we left you. Yeah. And uh, now this is next. This is our balloon dilatation with a non-compliant balloon, 3.25 into 20. We went up to 24 and 26 bars. Dhanesh doesn't know what bars I was going. So <laughs> otherwise he would have you know, <laughs> kicked me. 
<laughs> I, I know only Mars bars. <laughs> <laughs> so here you can see that you can see the proximal part of the stent also. Okay, you know, in the corona age, we keep on dilating up to 26, 28. In fact, there are the few stents which are available where, where we can go up to 30 also. So <coughs> this is what is the result. Now, do you feel we should dilate it further or stop here? See, this is a 3.25 balloon. I have gone up to 28 bars. I think, I think looking at uh, the result, and you put a 3 mm uh, stent and gone up to 3.25. Stent. I think yeah. we should accept this. Yeah. yeah. And we don't know what are the what yeah. happens to because the PRF. The yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we'll just take a shoot to lower down. So. You know, better is the enemy of the good. Don't try to be perfectionist. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are. So we are just taking distance shoots here. Next, Kali. Pi. There is an absorb uh, absorb trial which was done. Uh, by I think Raymond Walker from Australia, yeah. and uh, it showed 12 hour, uh, 12 year, uh, one year uh, patency, almost 96 percent. And a uh, bioabsorbable scaffold. That's right. Show the ankle. Show the ankle. And two years was almost 84 percent. So certainly encouraging results. And especially for baloney disease, I think uh, one can uh, sort of look forward to it. So, do you feel the result is good and we should stop here? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay, we agree. Okay. And, uh, Enjoy your uh, remaining meeting and thank you so much. Th thank you very okay, much I for an excellent thank case. The organizers for giving us. And, I, uh, I would like to thank uh, organizers for giving us an opportunity. Of course, the team lead a, head by Kamekar <laughs> and the entire team of the cath lab is here, including anesthesiologists and nursing staff. And of course, the Merrill, I would like to thank them. Merrill. Thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to deploy first stint in the country. Am I right? Yep, yep. I believe so. Yeah. First in thank man. You. First in man, thank yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Girish, and thanks, everybody. Thank you, thank you. 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 Thank you.